You may have heard of the Academic Social Network's ResearchGate and Academia.edu. Also referred to as scholarly collaboration networks, these websites are like Facebook or LinkedIn for academic researchers. Users create profiles and are encouraged to list their publications and other scholarly activities, to upload copies of articles they've authored, and to collaborate with other scholars with common interests. Academic social networks can be great for making connections, finding jobs, learning what other researchers in your field are working on, and asking and answering questions. But before you create a profile on one of these sites, there are certain things you should know. First, these are commercial ventures, and while there is currently no charge to use them, their business model is to find a way to profit from the data that users provide. You may be fine with that, but be aware that these sites could disappear if they don't meet investors' expectations, and that you have no control over what they do with your information. And, since these are commercial sites, you should be very careful about uploading the full text of your publications. By doing so, you could violate the copyrights held by your publishers. Unless you've published your research under a license that allows for commercial reuse, such as Creative Commons CC BY, there are restrictions on where and how you can share your articles. Always consult your individual author agreement, but in general, none of the major publishers allows the final publisher PDF to be posted on ResearchGate or Academia.edu. A few publishers will allow you to post your final peer-reviewed manuscript, but only after an embargo period. Others prohibit the posting of the manuscript version entirely. Some publishers will only allow you to post your original article, as submitted to the journal. So how big is the risk if you go ahead and post your articles anyway? You know other people who are doing it. Realistically, the risk is probably small. A publisher objecting to finding their content on an academic social network would probably issue a takedown notice to the site itself, as Elsevier did to academia.edu in 2013. Your paper would be removed and that would be the end of it. However, if you read the terms of use of ResearchGate and Academia.edu, you will find that by using the site, you agree not to post any information that infringes any third party's intellectual property rights, and you indemnify the site against any third party legal claims. This means that if the site were sued for copyright infringement for something you posted, you would be personally liable for their legal costs. So, in conclusion, if you're comfortable with their business model, by all means create a profile on ResearchGate and Academia.edu to connect with other researchers in your field. But, for sharing the full text of your articles, your best and safest bet is to take advantage of the URI open access policy and deposit your work in Digital Commons at URI.